Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Moss, and in this video, I'm gonna introduce you to pointers in the C programming language. Any experienced software developer understands the concept of pointers and how they're used, and especially if you're learning the C programming language, it's absolutely critical that you understand pointers. First, let's define what a pointer is. A pointer is a variable whose value is the memory address of another variable. And to really understand what that means, let's take a look at a simple program in C. So in this program, I only have one function, the main function, and uh, inside of the main function, I initialize an integer x, and I set x to the value of 10. And immediately following that, I initialize a pointer variable, and it's an integer pointer. So how do I know it's a pointer variable? Well, the asterisk following the data type designates this as a pointer variable, and it's a pointer variable of type integer. So when you initialize a new pointer variable, it, the data type of the pointer variable must match the data type of the variable that it's pointing to. And the value, the value of this pointer variable is going to be set to the memory location of x. So the memory location of x can be ref referenced using ampersand x. So when we use ampersand x, this is gonna return the memory location of x where the value 10 is stored. And one thing to note about this pointer variable is that it's of data type integer, but uh, we could have a pointer to something else. We could have a pointer variable to a struct or we could have a, a character pointer. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be an integer pointer, but in this case, we're pointing to an integer variable. So the pointer that we, uh, that we initialize needs to match that data type. So this is gonna be a, an integer pointer in this case. Now, after initializing the pointer variable, we then print out the value of variable x. So just x by itself, which should be, this should print out 10. And then we print out the memory address of x and we use the ampersand x, uh, the symbol ampersand uh, preceding x to print out the memory location. And we use this format or P to print out the memory location. So this will print out the memory address of X. And then following that, we'll print out the pointer variable value. So we're just gonna directly pass in PTR. And this should also print out the memory address for X. So these two values, when we print them out, they should match. And then finally, we print out the dereference value of the PTR variable. Now, what does it mean to dereference the, a, a pointer variable. Well, when we dereference a pointer variable, what we're doing is we're requesting the value of the um, variable that this pointer variable is pointing to. So when we dereference the, uh, the pointer variable here, what this should print out is the value 10. And to dereference uh, any pointer variable, all we have to do is proceed it with the asterisk. So let's go ahead and open up a terminal and run this program and see what it what it prints out. So I'm going to uh, open up my terminal here and then we'll uh, compile it. So I'm gonna use GCC to compile it. And then I'm gonna run it. So I get the first printout, I get the value of variable X, which is 10. And then the memory address for x, which is this value, ending in 2f3c, and this was printing out the ampersand x. And then the next printout is the pointer variable value. So just passing in PTR to the uh, print uh, formatter, and you can see that it's the same value as ampersand uh, x, so it's c2f3c. And then finally, when we dereference the value of uh, of the pointer variable using the asterisk PTR, we, we get the value 10 printed out to the console. So this is just a simple example showing what pointers are. But uh, we also need to understand why we need pointers and where to use them. So in the next video, we're going to expand this example out a little bit more. If you're enjoying this series, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos.